Here's a question I hope you're fortunate enough to need to ask. How do I manage sudden wealth? G'day, I'm Brendan Murray from Halcyon Private Wealth. Good to have your company as I cover a few simple do's and don'ts around managing sudden wealth. Today, I'm excited to bring you the first edition of Simple Certainty, a new fortnightly video series for people managing their wealth as they move towards and live in retirement. So let's kick it off. An influx of money can come from a variety of places, an inheritance, selling an asset like a business perhaps, or selling an investment property or even downsizing. On the rarest of occasions, somebody may make it big with a lotto win. Before we take a look at what you should do upon receiving a windfall, let's briefly discuss what not to do. First and foremost, avoid well-meaning advice from friends and family. They might have the best of intentions, but the fact of the matter is they don't know your circumstances or your needs and your goals. They're likely to make different life choices from you and they may have a very different risk tolerance. Coming into a large amount of money might seem like the dream, but it's not without its stress. Don't add to it by making high risk investments you're not comfortable with. Also avoid spending the money before you've devised a plan. Too often people begin buying cars, houses, gifting large amounts to friends and family before they've even sat down and worked out a plan. By the time they do think about their overall goals, it's often too late to make them a reality. Finally, avoid investing on your own without professional advice. If you don't work in the financial industry and aren't overly familiar with it, it's incredibly difficult to recognize the bad investments and avoid the scams. You'll be amazed how quickly large sums of money can disappear. Now we've had a look at what not to do, let's take a look at what you should do with sudden wealth. Fortunately, it's very simple. Seek professional advice. The smartest thing you can do is sit down and with guidance, work through what you want from your money. That might look like charitable donations, helping out family, illuminating a mortgage, perhaps setting yourself up for retirement. Whatever it is, planning before spending allows you to set out a tax effective strategy so you can maximize the use of this money and invest it in line with your risk tolerance. And that really is the key. There are so many paths you can take when it comes to spending a large sum of money. What helps narrow the options isn't just figuring out what you want from it, but staying within your risk tolerance limits. With the right guidance, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to invest wisely and profitably and still get a good night's sleep. Well, that's it for the first edition of Simple Certainty. Be sure to like, share, comment or subscribe so you can catch the next edition when I answer the important question, how much do you need to retire? Please note, this is general information only and you should always seek your own professional advice. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. We'll talk again soon.